In late 2012, Beck, the recording artist, released a album called Song Reader, uh, which actually wasn't an album. There was no recordings, there was no production, there was no mixing. It was just strictly sheet music. Full Sail decided that what we were going to do is invite a bunch of bands in the studio and have them do their own renditions of the songs. I think that some of the bands were, were close to what was actually written and other bands that completely did their own interpretation. We've turned around songs fast before, but we've never turned around a cover song. We had no preconception of really what this is supposed to sound like. We sped it up to 130 beats per minute and it's really supposed to be played somewhere on 90. And we got rid of, you know, all the piano and decided to add guitars. And um, so it ends up sounding, I think, somewhat like Weezer meets Weezer. No, don't act like your heart is in The Audio Temple was, was an ideal location to do this in because it's a large control room, a large studio, which would facilitate us having, you know, multiple setups. The beauty of this was is that I was able to work in my normal environment in the recording process as well as accommodate all the video needs that we had. Ended up being close to 30 people on the crew, comprised of staff and students. Uh, we brought a band in every two hours, and we would flip out the set, we would change lighting, we would do all the necessary tweaks that we needed to do to make them sound appropriate for that band. So really what I was looking for was like, how do, you, how do I bring something out of this um, without imposing too much uh, personality onto it? Like I didn't set out to make it like, this is gonna be the avant-garde classical version of this song that nobody else does. All that I was really trying to do was to look at what was already there. It brings out that aspect that, you know, that people do make music and can and show music through writing it rather than just recording it. Everybody learns songs by checking the internet for something now. It brings back that old school aspect of, oh wait, there is sheet music out there. One of the uh, more interesting bands that came in was the Keith Hall Project. Keith is a online student in our music production program, uh, and they drove here all the way from Illinois. They literally got in their cars and just drove overnight and ended up showing up ready to uh, play their song. Say to you, you've come a long way from your solitude. One of the other bands was Theories of Everything, and they were all recording art students on campus here who all met in class. Uh, in the Audio Temple, it was um, it was a lot of fun because uh, I've been in there as a student, like you know, behind the console. And every time I'm in that room, I'm like I'm on the wrong side of the glass. Yeah. So finally, being in there as an artist was definitely, really awesome. Definitely a great experience, especially seeing your teachers too, like actually oh, engineer yeah. your session instead of just talking about it. So it's awesome. This was one of the most unique projects that we've done in the studio. There's very few places on, on the planet that you can have the facilities, to have the crews, to have the ability to run full film crews and everything while we're actually recording audio. And, and there's very few places that you could actually do that. In. 